So Apple recently released their brand new MacBook Pros and alongside the MacBook Pros, they brought back the MagSafe connector. If you guys remember, Apple announced MagSafe back in 2006 with the original MacBook Pro. They revamped it at WWDC in 2012 and now in 2021 with the new MacBook Pros, they announced a third iteration of MagSafe. With this new iteration of MagSafe, you can expect to charge a MacBook Pro all the way up to 50% in about 30 minutes. So it's a lot faster. These new MagSafe connectors are braided and they're also USB-C on the other end. So that means that you're not tied to using Apple bricks. So you can use somebody else like Anchor or another company. You're not tied to Apple peripherals. And for all you guys using MacBook Pros back from 2015, this MagSafe 3 connector is not backwards compatible. So you're not gonna be able to use this with a MacBook Pro that had MagSafe 2 or MagSafe 1. And alongside the MagSafe 3 cable, Apple is shipping a 140 watt charge brick. And this charge brick is a little bit different. In typical Apple fashion, they are late to the game, but they are bringing gallium nitrate technology to this new charge brick. Basically what it is, it, it allows Apple to create a smaller charge brick that can output more power and create less heat. Other companies have already been using this for years, but it's nice to see that Apple is bringing this new charging technology into their MacBook Pro lineup. So with this new MagSafe 3, you're gonna be getting faster charging, and you're also not gonna be giving up charging from the other USB-C cables, because if you look at the MacBook Pros this year, you can also charge from any of the other three Thunderbolt 4 ports. So if you don't wanna use MagSafe and you still wanna charge via USB-C with your old chargers, you can still do that this year with the MagSafe 3. It's not either or, it's both. And I've said in my previous videos, if Apple ships these new MacBook Pros and the only way you can charge is MagSafe, it's gonna be a bad look. So let me know in the comments what you think about MagSafe 3. What MacBook Pro are you rocking? And are you gonna buy the new M1 Max? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one.